everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Becker Designs. I've got a fun little project for you today using the Musical Jamboree stamp set. Um, when I first saw the stamp set, I thought it would be fun to make some little s'more boxes. So in the box, I uh, put these really cool things I found on Amazon. Actually, the clear boxes are from Amazon, as well as these Choco Biscuit s'more kits. So you just put two of these little biscuit um, packages in your box and a couple of marshmallows and you seal the box up and then you've got your little box. So we're just going to decorate the box and uh, color that really adorable little singing coyote. All right, I am using a different stamp set for the sentiment. The happy birthday is from the Something Fancy. Um, I wanted to just use a little happy birthday sentiment. So um, if you want to change the sentiments, you can always look at your other stamps to see which ones you wanna use. All right, we're gonna start by stamping our coyote on a basic white stylish shape circle. And I'm gonna ink him up in Memento because we are using Stampin' Blends. So that is the marker that you wanna use. All right, so stamp him right there in the middle. And here are my colors that I'm using. We're gonna do the fire also, but we're gonna actually cut that out. We're gonna stamp it on a separate piece and cut it out. Uh, so we're gonna start with Smoky Slate, and I'm actually going to use Smoky Slate and my uh, Color Lifter, all right? And to do this, I'm just gonna start by putting a gray line along the black line of his body, and I'm gonna work in just small sections. We're gonna use the Color Lifter to pull that color towards the middle, all right? So then I'm just gonna take my Color Lifter and drag that color towards the middle. It's gonna spread it out and it's gonna keep him kind of light, all right? He won't be super colored dark um, this way. We'll just kind of have that color spreading out away from him. So as soon as that color lifter starts to touch that Stampin' Blend ink, it's gonna just kind of start to pull it away and kind of bleed out into the other areas. I'm gonna switch over. I like to use my bullet tip better. All right, so just go along the edge. Again, working in small little sections. And then taking your color lifter and just pull all that color towards the middle. And you can see over here on the other part of his body how that color really lightens out. All right, and we're gonna come down here. This is a smaller section of his body, so I'm just gonna, there in his paws, try to keep it pretty light, the line pretty narrow. Okay, and then we'll just come down here. Now, if you don't wanna do this, you can just color your little coyote in solid. I wanted to just really keep him kind of light. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to his little kerchief. Now, I am using some retired paper that is actually still on our clearance rack. So if you like this paper, grab it. Um, before it is gone for good. It's a big 12 by 12 pack. I'll have the complete supply list on my blog for you. It's a free PDF that you can download. And it'll have the names, sub, uh, item numbers, and measurements of three of the projects I'm doing today. So that's Calypso Coral. Um, I'm gonna take light Calypso Coral and just add a little bit of pink in his ear like that. There we go. Now for his banjo, I'm gonna use light pecan pie. And I noticed yesterday that my pecan pie marker is almost dried up. I've used it, it probably is my most used marker. So hopefully we have enough to finish this up. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. All right, so I'm gonna go around and color. I'm gonna leave the strings white. I'm not gonna color those in. Color that little part up there. And then I'm gonna get the dark 
and we'll color this part right here dark. Okay, now let's stamp the fire and we're gonna stamp the fire again in Memento and I'm doing it on a piece of, of scrap paper because I really wanted to cut it out and have it sitting in front of him. Now I'm gonna take my, again, pecan pie. Whoops, wrong end. Color those logs. And then I'm gonna take my light pumpkin pie first. And I'm gonna color this outer layer the light pumpkin pie. And then I'm gonna take my dark and I'm just gonna kind of go around the out the inside of the outside edge, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna have the dark right on the edge. All right, now I'm gonna take Daphdil Delight and just color in, again, just the top section of that inside part and leave that white. All right, now grab your paper snips and let's cut all this extra white off. And then I'm gonna very slowly and carefully go in between each of these. And I'm staying on the outside of the image, leaving a little bit of a white border around it. And there's some little like um, pops of flame, I guess, little dots of flame above the fire. I'm just going to cut those off. We don't need those. Just very carefully turn the paper with your opposite hand, stay in the middle of your blade, and there we go. All right, one other thing I want to do with my coyote, just to give him some dimension, I'm going to take my light pool party and I'm just gonna outline him in pool party. It just kind of gives him a little bit of dimension. All the way around, just kind of keeping that line pretty skinny. You don't want it to be a big fat line. Okay, all right, and then I've got the little grass image and I need a piece of scrap paper. Do I have one? Yep, over here, of course, got my grid paper. And we're just gonna stamp some of the grass down here below him and around like this. Okay. So he's kind of anchored there. Grab your dimensionals and that little fire. And we'll put that right there in front of him like that. Now I have cut out one of our uh, lovely little labels right here. And we're gonna stamp that sentiment in Calypso Coral. The Calypso Coral matches our designer series paper. So if you're using different paper, of course, you can change your colors to match. I'm gonna use one of my little strips, foam adhesive strips for this. Let's see. And we're just gonna put that right across there like that. Okay, and then I have some sparkle dots and we'll just put a few around him because every project needs some sparkle dots. Let's do one more over here. Okay, so now we've got our tag ready. Now let's make get our box ready. And I have already put the box together, put the little biscuit, chocolate biscuits with the marshmallows in there. I've got my designer series paper and I'm not gonna score it, I'm just gonna wrap it and pinch it to match, all right? You wanna just pinch to match those corners. 
And let's see, I'm gonna lay this down and get it nice and straight. And then, because you pinched it so the paper knows where to lay down, this way you can just get it nice and straight. Okay, and then we're gonna pinch that one over like that. And we're gonna put adhesive just right here on the edge because we're not gluing it to the box, we're just gluing it to itself, okay? So that it can slide off like that. All right, now I've got some basic beige ribbon, a nice good neutral ribbon. And we'll tie a bow on the top here like this. And pull those legs until you get it just how you want it. Trim off at an angle. And then just we're just gonna adhere this on either side. If I didn't lose my dimensionals, here they are. We're gonna put that those dimensionals right there on either side. And there we go. A really fun little s'mores treat. This could be a fun uh, party favor, something for back to school. Um, happy birthday any time of the year. Keep them in your desk, you know, at work. Um, and everybody loves s'mores. So who wouldn't love that treat? All right. Click the link here on YouTube. I've got the link for both the clear boxes and the little Choco Biscuit S'more Kit, as well as that free PDF and two other projects for you. All right, everybody have fun. Bye.